train the muscles, not the joints. Mountain. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that's off subject from fitness but at the same time it's kind of a concerning sort of precedent that was just set and I'm going to tell you a little story of what happened right. So I walked into the coffee shop today just to get my takeout order because we're still under that lockdown and I went to go get my drink or whatever and the guy behind the counter named Caleb who knows me and sees me on a daily basis said hey Jason I met your doppelganger. I met somebody that looks just like you you should you should check it out and he proceeded to show me his phone and show me a show on Netflix where there was a clip of a guy doing lat pull downs. Now you can imagine my surprise when it was me and it was a clip that I shot for this channel and it was on Netflix now being used in season three of Magic for Humans. I think it was in the episode named Self Care and it was the gym scene. So basically the entrance into the gym scene at about 17 minutes and 55 seconds into it that you see me doing lap pull downs as an intro into this gym that the characters are going into. Here's the clip here. This is fine. So first and foremost, I wanna say, I never gave permission for anybody to take my clip, first of all. And second of all, you do sometimes expect to get some sort of copyright infringement from other YouTube people or some people on Instagram. Sometimes they'll, they'll steal a clip from you and then you have to deal with them and message them and say, hey, listen, take my content down, don't be using it. But I never in a million years imagined that a series that is on Netflix who is getting paid would be stooping to such low proportions that they would start stealing clips from YouTube channels in order to produce their show. So this is a very big concern for me. So I don't know how they thought that this was a legitimate business practice in Hollywood by any means. And at the same time, I never received an email or was asked for permission or anything whatsoever. Now, some of you guys out there be thinking, wow, that's pretty cool. You're actually in a Netflix movie. That's pretty cool. Look at the exposure you're gonna get. And I had a few people that were kind of naive say, wow, you got exposure. You should just be happy with that. I'm thinking, well, exposure. Hmm, let's think about exposure. What does exposure mean? Exposure means that people that don't know you or who don't know you become introduced to you. Now, how do they become introduced to you? They recognize you as far as they can recognize your name or you are given a name in the credits of a show, which I did not get, or your business is, is exposed in some way, shape or form. And I did not get any exposure in that way, shape or form. All I did was get a clip of myself that I shot on my own equipment at my own expense and my own time stolen from my YouTube channel and then get used for profit by another entity. So the thing is, is that there's no exposure benefit because anybody who doesn't know me won't immediately recognize my service, my business, my website. Like nobody from that clip is going to be going to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and purchasing a workout program. And nobody's going to be going from that clip to my YouTube videos automatically knowing it's Natural Galant Bodybuilding. Now, if they would have said, hey, clip produced by naturalgalantbodybuilding.com or if they said this is Natural Galant Bodybuilding filming in the gym where we are, you know, that kind of thing then it would have given me some exposure or some way to receive compensation in some way, shape or form. But I received none of that. And at the same time, the disturbing part is that there was no permission. So imagine you upload a video to YouTube of your family, your kids, your dog, or whatever it is, and you mean for it to be a public video, you still have control to be able to take down that video anytime you want. You are in control of that video. But imagine some movie guy comes along, says, hey, I'm gonna use that clip. And then they immortalize that video in the movies, don't pay you, don't give you credit, don't even consider whether you want to be a part of that project or not based on whatever type of thing they're representing. Maybe they're representing some sort of ideology you don't agree with and then they're using your clip in there out of context and making it seem like you support that ideology. You know, this can be a problem. This concerns me about Netflix because why wouldn't they do a simple web search for these clips and find out if they're legitimately produced by this producer? Because YouTube can do this. YouTube can go and take a clip and then search all of YouTube to make sure that nobody else produced that clip before you did. They have a copyright button on every YouTube creator's channel where they can check whether somebody's stealing their clips or not. This is easy technology. So why did Netflix not use this when it comes down to looking for this documentary and seeing if this thing had been produced on some other platform somewhere else or at least pieces of it. So that way they could double check to make sure all the contractual obligations are in place, all the waivers are signed, all this sort of legality is taken care of. But obviously they did not do this. They just basically signed, 
produce the thing. And this is in season three of a show, not season one. This is not just an introductory show. This is a show that's getting paid. You don't get to season three on Netflix without getting paid. So this is concerning that this was allowed to take place. I have sent letters off to Netflix. I'm contacting lawyers. And I also contacted the agent who represents the man who produced the show on Netflix. And I have not received anything back from them as of yet, but we'll see what happens in the next few days. And I'll keep you guys posted on this, but I am not going to let this go. This is going to be a legal issue. I'm not going to let anybody just steal my content for their own profit and gain without me benefiting in any way, shape or form. Yet I'm just here just to be their slave, just to produce stuff for them. And they could just take whatever they want. Like that's not right. You know what I mean? I would never do that to somebody else knowingly. So again, I'm going to pursue this to the utmost uh, degree. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any experience with this. But yeah, I was extremely surprised when I found this out about Netflix today. I didn't think this was possible, but apparently it is. So watch out for that cat video you're making on Facebook or whatever. It might end up on a Netflix show or whatever and you didn't even realize it. So, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot to the patient supporters for supporting this channel. And if you need to get home, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and take care for now. Mountain. Mountain.